filming right now? Sorry. You're all right. You're not hurting anything. I'm just waiting to get in there and start cleaning it. Man. <laughs> Looks like you've done this before, Wyatt. Ah, uh, sort of. I'm a lesser known truck. <laughs> <laughs> Just whatever you do, don't slip and fall. <laughs> Turo would have a shit. Oh no, somebody got hurt falling off my truck. <laughs> <laughs> Breakfast. He's thirsty this morning. <laughs> Hose was too short to reach it at the pump. Ah. My life changed in probably May 1986 when I got the June issue of Four Wheeler Magazine and this was on the cover of it. Probably my most memorable event would be at a January 89 show at the Pontiac Silverdome was the first time I got to see Jake Hankey run aces high. And then probably another really cool moment was like the ah moment about four years ago sitting at Jake's dinner table eating dinner with him. And I remember looking at him and saying, man, if you would have told me when I was five years old that I'd be eating dinner at Jake Hankey's house. I never would have believed it. I think the most significant old school show to me, I was probably two and a half years old, Fort Smith, Arkansas, 1990. Um, the Darnells used to do it, they still do it, uh, but back then that was a huge thing. You know, tractor pulls, they had 12 trucks, I think. Uh, I have the video to that show, and I used to watch it religiously. Uh, Barely Tame, Master Disaster, Samson, I mean, it goes on. I, I watched it probably twice a day when I was little. I mean, it was a great babysitting tool. But uh, that's what got me hooked, you know. Now we're doing the old school deal. You know, it's so cool to see these things being plucked out of fence rows. You know, it's, it's, I mean, it's almost undescribable. You know, it's kind of cool I get to do that before I head north and experience that. My favorite uh, old school event, my first event, was uh, seeing Bigfoot 3 at a Ford dealership in Roseville, California. I was so taken with the truck when I uh, saw it on TV and then when I had to, uh, when I got a, a Advertisement saying that the truck was coming. It was the first time I'd ever seen Bigfoot, and it's always stuck in my mind. It's always been uh, a pivotal moment in my life, and uh, I'm so hooked on the truck. But uh, I'm so grateful that the uh, Bigfoot folks brought the truck out to uh, California. I never would have had a chance to see it otherwise. And ever since then, uh, every year, Bigfoot would send a truck out to the Ford dealership, and every year I'd go see it, and it was always a special place in my heart. And, and I still go by the place today. It's still there. It's a vacant Ford dealer, but the lot is still there. And I go there and reminisce about Bigfoot, and, and uh, it's a special place for me. And, and, uh, I 
I can't say no more about it. <laughs> My favorite old school moment was walking into the Silverdome, seeing a truck that had come all the way from California like Skull Bandits, knowing it was the only truck of its kind. Or, um, Trying to think of another truck. Um, our Samson one from Alabama. That was that was the most incredible moment for me, knowing that there was only one of that truck. Well, I'd have to say my uh, my favorite monster moment would be Buffalo, New York, 1987. Uh, that would be my favorite event because the truck uh, competition was not only radical, but it was quick, straight line, and the action was just insane. The trucks were colorful. There was definitely a unique amount of vehicles there, and I have to say, you know, growing up as a kid, I saw that, I had that taped on beta, and that was probably the one tape that I wore out over and over again in the machine. So, once again, that was my monster moment. My favorite old school event would definitely have to be, uh, not quite all old school, but the Pontiac Silverdome event last year. Um, that's a event where, or the building where this whole Attention sport started area. back 30 something years ago. Bob Tanner did that first car Here's crush there. The Just the amazing history in that building. And getting to come back there after five or six years of uh, no events ever the, having uh, been in that building since the then. It was pretty cool. I've been there guys, going to that building my whole life as a crew guy and helping out with the trucks and stuff. And it was nice to be able to go there and that was my first chance getting to actually run a truck there. Plus bringing back this old school Predator truck there was pretty cool. We've been working on it for about three years or so and the last three days was about a uh, 60 something hours straight of working for Alan and myself and we finished the truck about 1, 2 in the morning, loaded it up and got in the rigs and trucked on up there to Pontiac and got there late like normal and uh, got everything together but it was all worth it. Um, Alan and myself got in it, drove down that tunnel into that airlock there going to the Silver Dome was probably one of the coolest feelings I've ever had. Um, just being able to help recreate that history and this was one of the first trucks here in the last couple years that's come back as the old school trucks and seeing what we've created now with all of this here has just been amazing and that event definitely uh, brought back a lot of memories bringing back that old building and be my favorite old school event so far. Yeah, the other thing is, well, he's not even holding on. 